Hello and welcome back to the Celso Sal channel. Earlier I created some videos, uh, not some videos, but basically two videos for two different certification exams, uh, namely Salesforce Administrator Certification and Salesforce Platform Developer One Certification. And in those videos, I provided you guys with some practice tests, with the help of which you can prepare for your certification exam, and that can, uh, yeah, help you prepare for your certification exam. And after posting uh, both of these videos, I got a lot of requests from you guys, uh, some of you or from a lot of you, uh, to post a practice test for uh, Salesforce App Builder Certification exam as well. So here we go. This practice test will not only help you give a gist or give an idea about how the certification exam or how the questions in the certification exam will look like, but it will also explain you the format in which the questions will be asked. The major difference between uh, the Salesforce Administrator exam and App Builder exam is this, that uh, Administrator exam is completely based uh, onto the standard objects which is available onto, like in, in the Sales Cloud application of Salesforce, uh, whereas the app builder certification is completely based on to custom objects. Uh, so that's the major difference. Uh, like the, the format of the questions is again, uh, slightly same. Uh, there's not a huge difference between uh, both of these certifications, but yeah, the major difference between both of these certifications is definitely the standard object in administrator exam and the app builder uh, and the custom objects into the app builder exam. If you're really preparing to give this app builder certification exam, then I would highly recommend you to uh, go through this uh, app builder certification practice test which we have uh, given the link down in the description the reason is very simple i do not want you to uh, have that exam fear or that nervousness that you might have uh, while reaching the testing center or uh, before hitting that launch button which a lot of people out there face uh, when they give this particular certification exam and uh, one more thing uh, because of which you should uh, give the practice test before uh, going for the certification exam is that you get to know how the questions are aligned you get to know how uh, the questions how the format of the questions will be uh, how much time you take uh, in order to solve a particular question or in order to give the answer of a particular question and how you have to make sure that you complete this uh, the complete exam in a particular given time frame only so make sure whenever you're giving this practice test uh, there's a timer that you are uh, switching on and uh, you're you're uh, you're completing the uh, the examination or the the practice test as well in that given time frame itself now without any delay just hit the link down in the description to give the practice test right now uh, if you're preparing to give the app builder certification and if you are if you're not prepared to give this practice test and if you're just trying to uh, give it just for fun i would recommend you to not do it because it might uh, affect you in a way that you will lose your confidence to give that uh, examination or to prepare for the examination at all so it's better to prepare first and then give the practice test uh, so that you can actually evaluate uh, your knowledge and your skill set into the particular exam or into a particular practice test. Post statement uh, which our marketing team has asked me to say over here is uh, that you do not have to solely depend on this practice test in order to prepare for your examination. We are nowhere responsible for uh, you uh, to crack this certification exam or not. So you cannot, uh, yeah, you should not claim that uh, we have given the practice test uh, from the Salesforce Health channel and we should clear this exam. You should not depend solely on this practice test, though you can, uh, but I just want to like hide it from the marketing team which is sitting in here only. Uh, so that's it. All the best. <laughs>